Hello everyone, Bryce Parks here. Today we're going to be looking at uh, dimensioning in AutoCAD in 3D mode. And we're going to also be looking at the user coordinate system, which is this little XYZ axis right down here in the bottom uh, left corner. So I'm in 3D modeling. I have a, just a basic block here with a uh, hole going through it. And I'm going to be using primarily the, uh, uh, the tabs up here called Annotate for the Annotate ribbon and the Visualize tab to place my UCS axis. Uh, so let's say I want to start here uh, on dimensioning. If you're familiar with dimensioning in 2D AutoCAD, uh, you have this uh, running dimension uh, command session here uh, that allows you to have a single command session and do multiple dimensions. This is good most of the time. However, there are occasions where you need to dictate special types of dimensions. So maybe it's just not picking up a dimension with that running uh, starburst dimension there. Uh, and so instead you need to do, let's say, an aligned or, or an angle or something like that. And we see those particular dimensions right here uh, with that little arrow with the drop down uh, menu right here. So I can run linear, for example, and I can snap corner to corner and I can dimension that way, or I can click that little starburst one, select the line, and dimension it the same way. And this is still in the dimension um, uh, command, so I can now snap the next line, or I can come over here and snap corner to corner and run that still with that sunburst uh, dimensioning. That's a running dimension uh, command. So let me erase a couple of these here. So we have our box length and width. And now let's do our height. And so if I were to select on this uh, or to select on this, I'll, I'll use the basic ones here uh, to show you what's going on here. So I snapped bottom of the box to the top of the box. And notice now it's putting in a dimension of zero. The reason for this is because the, Z, the dimensions work on the XY plane. It does not work on the Z plane or sorry, Z axis. Uh, works on the XY axis, not on the Z axis. And so when you clicked at the bottom of the box and the top of the box, uh, it's still reading it on the XY uh, plane. And so it assumes you're clicking at the same point, even though you're snapping uh, on that Z axis. So I'm going to erase that. And now I need to start moving this XYZ coordinate system. This is what we call the user coordinate system here in AutoCAD. You can find uh, commands um, or command buttons here to control that UCS axis right here on the visualize tab right up here where it says coordinates so let me start with the first one here this first one is a default world and uh, that takes you back home if you think of it as kind of the home it's a default world if you get spun back around here um, that world will oh, sorry if you spin your axis around here uh, that so let's say that you put it upside down and now it's kind of all goofy and uh, let's say our um, oh let's say our um, um, well view cube up here gets turned around and this isn't lining up let's say I hit on my top view no that shouldn't be my top view what's going on here if that ever gets out of whack just come over here to the visualize the UCS world and click that and that sets it back home and you can go back to the um, home. All right, so here's my home view here, front, top, right side. So <clears throat> let me turn that off. I like uh, parallel better. All right, so it's at this point now that I'm going to set my UCS axis so I can dimension along the vertical uh, or the height of this block. So I can do this a few ways. One way I can move that UCS is I can select that and I can grab that little box and simply drag it over and snap it there. Now, since it it um, attached to the face of this block, it popped my X and Y along the face. So that X and Y axis makes a plane that's in line with the plane of that face. So if I were to dimension now, I can snap a dimension. And once again, you can run, use your running snap here where you can get a hold of that line. You can run it that way, or you can do a standard align, or sorry, not align, but a standard linear dimension, and you can do it that way. Okay, So that allows me to be able to dimension along the height of this block. Let me 
spin this around and let's say that for example let's say that I want my y-axis going vertical but I want my x-axis running out this way you can go back to your visualize tab and you can now change these around so there's some different features here one the one I use quite often is the three point and that allows you to place the center of your xy axis it allows you to run which way you want your x axis so I'm going to turn my ortho on to lock it there and then it says which way do you want your y axis in the positive direction I'm going to run it vertical there and so now notice that it's the exact same as before except now the x is running in the opposite direction which now means my z is going um, backwards instead of out towards me like it was the last time so if I were to snap a dimension at the, with the um, UCS placed how it is right now notice that my text is now backwards okay what happens here is the X and Y axis needs to be in the positive direction uh, for it to read in the proper format so with that X running in the backwards direction instead of it coming out in a positive direction it's going in a negative direction what happens is my text is now um, backwards and so if I were to re rotate this around notice what happens here my y-axis is vertical my x-axis is in a positive direction to the right and my text here for that dimension is reading the correct way so I know it can get a little frustrating with placing your UCS axis here uh, in uh, AutoCAD 3D, uh, but that placing of the UCS axis is super handy uh, for dimensioning here. So let me go back here. Let's say it got mixed up. I can just simply click my UCS world and it goes back to normal. I can click this axis and I can bring it over and I can snap it to the top here. Now, I'm, if I were to dimension, before my dimensions went to the bottom so if I snap that UCS to the top if I were to come to annotate and snap a dimension now the exact same way snapping to the edges notice that it's putting it on the top of my part ah, sorry notice it's putting it on the top of my part because the UCS axis is uh, set on top of my part so if I were to let's say for example want to dimension this block and I have, I'll erase these here, so I have my block base here, uh, 4 times 2, and it's 3 inches high. I can come in here now, and once again, I can use that running dimension to grab the edge here if I want to. I can do that with a point from here to here. Notice that it pulls it in, uh, allowing me to snap points as well for that running dimension or I can use my manual ones generally for students starting out I tell them use the manual ones so that they know uh, how to dictate what they want to find and then once they get comfortable with that uh, run, use the running dimension feature there so I'm going to locate this hole here so it's now two inches over and one inch centered on the block notice that those dimensions are sitting now on the top of my block one more here if I were to let's say that just for this example we want to go back home so now it's home let's say oh I forgot to dimension the diameter of that so I go back to annotate and I pop in a dimension of diameter and I select on that diameter look at what it's doing here so even though it has the diameter of one inch it's dropping that arrowhead down to the very bottom which <clears throat> is in line with the UCS if I were to go in the horizontal position notice that my UCS axis is aligned with the bottom of that part so in this particular case I don't want to dimension to the bottom I want to dimension to the top so I'm just going to select this snap it up here notice which face you're going on so if you want to dimension it to that face notice which way the X and Y are going if I come over here to this face and highlight say for example this this face here notice it spins my XYZ axis if I'm coming over here it's going to position my XY axis along uh, to be parallel with the face okay so make sure you're paying attention which way that you're coming into uh, moving your UCS so I'm going to snap that diameter now and notice now it's on the top of the part which is the way I want it so that's some basics there of dimensioning using the dimensions here under the annotate tab 
as well as starting to use the coordinate system uh, to change around your positions in order to dimension effectively uh, with 3D parts in AutoCAD.